If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over some info that was kind of released on Madden yesterday on the home screen. Now, if you guys don't already know, they have been hinting at some promos for the year, specifically one that seems much bigger than the rest. Now, if you guys remember from last year, we had some new introduced promos that were more like legend-esque, history-esque based versus the usual like promos that we do get. And that was the Mutt 10 and the NFL 100. Now, if you guys already know, the Mutt 10 was pretty much for 10 weeks. I believe it was every... I don't, want, I don't want to botch this. Was it Fridays? I think it was Fridays. 10 weeks every Friday, we would get a... Re they would release a limited time player. We got Michael Vick, Randy Moss, uh, Joe Thomas, Troy Palomalu, and so on and so forth. That was the Mutt 10. Now, the NFL 100 was we got like a bunch of legends and batches dropped based on the NFL, the 100 years of the NFL, based on the uh, top list or whatever. So, those were cool new promos. Now, the NFL 50, which is what I'm going to be talking about today, seems to be one of those that are following, I believe the NFL 50, uh, the NFL 50 or the 50 is what they're calling it, is going to follow something similar to the NFL 100. Now, I don't know what the 50 years is really regarding to you guys. Um, again, we will get more info, but that is coming up in the near future. Now, if you guys don't know, sometimes Madden gives us screens that does say like, oh, coming up this season of Madden until like, until October, November is going to be these things coming out. So there's legends. It said most feared. They said, um, the NFL 50. Now guys, I do have screenshots. I'll show you guys everything in just a second and kind of go over this all for you guys. But pretty much so far does seem pretty cool. The NFL 50, they even hinted at it. I believe, uh, Jay uh, Stein and Kralo hinted at it back in the pre-release stream of Madden 21 if you guys remember that and it was like this big promo but they don't want to say much more so I am excited for it they have hyped it up and typically big new promos like this are always exciting because we don't know what to expect like kickoff we it was different this year but we more or less know how they're going to handle it but this is new so if they handle it differently it's always exciting and kind of interesting for everyone uh, involved but guys before we get into today's video go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on to our boys come join the family make sure you do a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below what you think the 50 promo will be and who you expect to see now let me get down uh, to the screenshots and show you guys everything this is the screenshot that we will be working with for the season info now it goes from 9 10 to november 5th so september 10th to november 5th so pretty much is going to be stretched over approximately two months a little bit below closer to about one month and four weeks versus and i know a month is four weeks but that's not necessarily true it's a few days behind so closer to a month three weeks and a half four weeks versus two actual months now here's the thing it's called season one so coming up this season we got new nike hq location ltd season gear more legends as per usual ultimate kickoff which we did just get the 50 and most feared now it's not to include everything guys because of course we will be getting things like team of the week uh, uh heavyweights flashbacks veterans so on and so forth but the big promos the promos not just like the little weekly stuff we get signature series so on and so forth but the 50s coming before most feared so most feared always drops in October that pretty much takes up the entirety of October so my guess is the 50 may be dropping late this month so it could be dropping in a week and a half two weeks it could drop the first week of October but we should be expecting the new future and like I said I will be going over what I believe the 50 will be I will go show you guys screenshots of that in just a second but most of your guys will be in October for sure we know that already it always is it's always towards Halloween always near the mid late October usually now the 50 is a new one. We don't know what that's going to entail, but last year, Mutt 10 was right around the 50 little range. Uh, so we could expect something, like I said, to fill that gap. And then NFL 100 was a little bit later, but if they do it like NFL 100, then, which will make more sense because Mutt 10 was very specific to how they did that, Mutt 10 might be a little bit different. Now, I am super excited for the 50. Going to be something brand new. Don't know what to expect from it, which is why it is so exciting. Then check back for more content. So, guys, we have a lot of stuff coming up this month. Hopefully, you guys are getting excited for it. But let me go show you guys some of the screenshots uh, that I was referring to. Yeah, so, to start off with the NFL 100, this is pretty much what we worked with last year. They would drop bunches, like the top-rated wide receivers on the NFL 100 list, which is Jerry Rice, Steve Largent, Randy Moss. And these weren't the actual top ones. There was a list, and they picked from the top ones. There was a quarterback, Joe Montana, John Elway, Tom Brady. Now, these cards were 95s. Because these also did come out more towards, I believe, late October and November, I want to say. Uh, well, some came out like later November into December, I believe. But they started at a, uh, they started before the Blitz promo. I know that. So it was like late October, early November, going into late December, uh, mid December. So some did start at lower overalls, such as 94s. I believe there was even 93s in there. 
no no 94s okay and the 80s were just like the set stuff now 94 so the first one that we got one of them was i believe barry sanders which was super super insane so again they dropped in batches based on legends now i believe the 50 could be something similar now i don't think it'd be exactly like this but it was successful it was a successful promo people really liked it people bought packs and everything so i could see ea bring something back similar to this style because again it had good feedback people really liked it now my only thing i had against this promo was they just dropped too many cards like when you're like let's say you don't you're not a money spender like you save up all these coins a new ed reed drops you pick them up you power them up and you have to save up coins again but when they drop ed reed rob woodson ronnie Lott, and deon sanders you can't afford all four so like you have to pick one and then you just broke so like that's the only thing i had an issue with they were dropping too many cards at once teams are getting way too good while other people were falling behind that was kind of the only issue i had with the nfl 100 but other than that the promo itself i mean the the concept's great the idea is great they drop good cards i mean we got some of the best cards we got rice randy moss we got peyton manning which again not great but people like him uh, we got Deacon Jones, we got Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White, Mean Joe Green, Willie Lanier, Devin Hester, Willie Brown, Ronnie Lott, Ed Reed, Rob Woodson, Jonathan Ogden, Bruce Matthews, Larry Allen, Tony Gonzalez, like all these are like meta cards, like Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson, if you guys don't forget, destroyed last year's game, so that's all you gotta know about what they dropped in this promo. All these are meta cards, and they were all be able to be powered up, and I'll head over to Most Fear, which is the other one. So this is what you can be expecting too. Now these were a bit lower because like I said, these came out before. So the NFL 50 probably will be, I mean the 50 will probably be within the 90 to 93 overall range, more than likely. Oh, we got Le'Veon Bell, he was horrible. Ray Lewis is really good. Peyton Manning was bad. Dante Hall was bad. Honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of our most feared card choices last year. Calais Campbell wasn't good either. Earl Thomas wasn't good. Uh, Tyler Lockett actually was pretty good. Cam Newton wasn't good. Travis Frederick was good. Denzel Ward was really good. This is one of the one of the few cards last year that people actually did enjoy. Denzel Ward was like the fastest cornerback for a while, or one of the fastest, and he had the man coverage and press threshold. Um, honestly, guys, last year most year wasn't great. I'm gonna be honest with you. The animations were cool, the concept was cool, but I didn't like the card choices. I believe they'll fix that this year because card choices are hit or miss, right? They're not gonna pick the same guys next year, so we can only expect well this year, so we can get we're gonna get better guys. But the promo was good, like the way they set it up, the sets, the currency, everything was great about it. So that's 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 promising, right? Because that, that's what really matters. Now, the card choice wasn't great. Like, I just didn't like the cards they chose. So, like, Le'Veon Bell's never going to get good speed. Earl Thomas is never going to get good hit power. Clay's Campbell's never going to be super athletic or a finesse guy. Like, Cam Newton never gets good accuracy. And we already had Vic. And we already had Vic and Lamar. So, like, it was just bad choices of cards. But, again, most fear was a great and excellent setup promo. But, guys, that's pretty much about it for the video, guys. That pretty much covers everything. So, again, you expect more Legends and a bunch of other content. Specifically, most feared and 50. Now, 50 should come before most feared. Uh, so, hopefully, that does come out. Hopefully it's fun. Hopefully it's not delayed. Now, when we get news for that, if it comes out late September, you can expect news sometime between the 20th and the 30th. If it comes out the first week of October, you could probably expect it going into the first week of October uh, because, again, they usually do the streams a few days before. Will they give us some leaks and some info, maybe even a mutt leak? Potentially, but we don't know. We're not entirely sure, guys, but that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on bell, boys. If you join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these promos. What's your prediction for the 50? What do you guys think it's going to entail? Let me know down below. But that's about it, guys. If you need coins for anything to pick up any new cards, uh, enjoy the kickoff promo. Get prepped up for these promos. Head on over to muttreserve.com down below in the description. Coins are currently discounted heavily. If you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off, guys. So enjoy. Take advantage. I'm out. Peace.